Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we're looking at an ink that's uh, due to be released very shortly. It's part of the new Urban series, the 1798 series, and it is the Amatisse de L'Oral. Uh, this ink uh, is part of a new line in a slightly redesigned bottle from the 1670 range, a new line of uh, shimmer inks, and this particular one is uh, a beautiful purple. Now, if you look at the, uh, the color here, we have, as you can see, nice sort of rich violet sort of base color uh, and then some lovely gold sheen and that beautiful silver shimmer part of what makes these shimmer inks uh, so popular so i was sent um this uh, little 10 milliliter bottle for review um and i found it to be really beautiful and perform really really well not only is it a great colour, but it's got some great properties as well. To start with, let's look at the chromatography here. Um, it sort of says quite a lot about the ink. There's some lovely rich sort of purple at the top and then dusty sort of purpley violets throughout. And then a nice little, uh, little bit that sort of uh, hangs around just at the bottom there, which is actually where the, the little sparkle uh, particulates sort of hang around. And you can see all of those shades in the ink and it really is quite beautiful. Let's look at it uh, in comparison to a couple of other inks first. Um, here is one that uh, is quite sort of um, well known. It is Mont Blanc Lavender Purple. Um, once again, a, a, a purple ink with some lovely uh, gold sh uh, sheen and a really sort of nice warm uh, lavender, violety, plummy purple. Um, so just to sort of give a comparison. And then another uh, purple, which is uh, well known and well loved, it's the Lamy Dark Lilac. Um, there are there are similarities in the in the actual purples, although Lamy Dark Lilac is a little darker. Um, in some of those lighter shades, there are similarities between the two, and of course, there's that uh, gold sheen there as well. Let's look at the written test, and this is done on a Rhodia eighty gram paper. Um, and as you can see, it looks great on the page. Yes, there are hints of the uh, the, the the shimmer uh, in the writing, of course. Um, this was done with a, a Twisby Eco uh, 1.1 millimeter um, pen, which is now inked with um, another ink. Um, but it allows for a nice sort of wet writing experience and puts down enough ink to really really show off some of that sparkle. It's quite a wet ink. It does take its sort of time to dry around the 30 second mark on this paper. Um, but with those sort of particulates in the ink and um, the nice sort of wet writing experience, I personally don't mind that sort of longer drying time. There's no feathering um, and bleed is virtually non-existent, especially sort of on this paper, there's none. Uh, and even on some of the lower end papers, it's really quite well behaved. So we'll do a little swab and then come back and do the second uh, writing test and the water test and then sort of talk through uh, the scoring. So from that you can see what a beautiful shade of purple uh, this ink is and how lovely and dark it dries with that really beautiful vibrant uh, silver uh, shimmer to the ink. Let's do the second pen test and then have a look at it on some other paper. The second pen uh, today is a Chinese pen, the Jinhao X750. Um, had to match up this beautiful purple finish with the ink. Uh, and I've put a, a Goulet Pens um, number 6 medium nib uh, in this pen.
So there in a, in a medium nib and quite a wet one, uh, we see how uh, lovely uh, the, the purple of that ink is and how that shimmer does shine so beautifully. Let's look at it on some other paper while that sets in before we do the water test. And we'll start from uh, the higher end paper, the Tomo River. Um, and on this paper, it's actually really hard to get a sense of what the colour is on that swab because it's just such a dense uh, shimmer and that sh gold sheen around the edge. It's actually hard to see sort of that base purple coming through. You can, of course, see it more uh, in the writing and it is considerably darker uh, on this Tomo River paper in comparison to the Rhodia. This was done, uh, as you can see, with the Goulet medium. Um, and dry time is still pretty pretty decent, longer than uh, 20 seconds, obviously. We had 30 seconds on the Rhodia. Uh, but it performs really well. There's no bleeding, there's no feathering, as you would expect on this paper. Then below the Rhodia paper, we have the, the Reflex copy paper. Uh, once again, you can still see the sparkle. There's less of that, um, that sheen, though. Uh, and... Dry time was still a little over 20 seconds, uh, no bleed or feather. It is a really quite a wet ink, as that sort of dry time suggests. And then the most budget-friendly paper we have is the uh, Spirex note paper. Uh, now this, uh, once again, still see the sparkle, of course, that's not going to absorb into the paper, but this paper is a lot more absorbent than the other two, uh, and so the dry time was a lot quicker. It was really less... It was probably around the five second mark, uh, and we do have a little bit of bleed through. It is a wet pen, uh, and this is really absorbent paper, uh, but because it is such a wet ink, a lot of it does sort of work its way through quite easily. So let's do the, the water test, um, and we'll do two methods here. We've got a, a wet uh, cotton bud swab, which will run through a little bit of the writing there, uh, without sort of too much effort. You can already see it's really done quite a lot of damage to the uh, writing on the paper. And then we'll just do a little water drop. Oh, we got away then. That's all right. Um, and you can see it's already moving a lot uh, of the ink. I'll just dab up some of that now. Okay. So while it did remove a lot of the ink, you can still read what was there. A lot of this ink does get absorbed. It is quite saturated, so it does um, hang around a little bit uh, on the page. Uh, but it did, yeah, remove quite uh, a lot of the ink. Um, so look, water resistance is, is okay. Uh, if you catch it quick enough, uh, you'll be able to save most of uh, your writing while it won't necessarily have the same... Uh, artistic integrity if that's what you're concerned about. So let's talk about these uh, five points. Wetness and saturation are both excellent. Wet ink, highly saturated, lots uh, of vibrancy and depth to the colour. The shading is really good. Um, sheen is beautiful and gold. Uh, on sort of particularly on paper like the Tomo River uh, and you get hints of it on on this paper uh, but in a nice wet pen on Tomo River you're going to get some beautiful um, gold sheen. Bleed and feather is very good. There was no feathering on any of the paper and only a small amount of bleed on the lower end paper. Everything else it's performed really well on. Now value. This is expensive ink. This The new uh, Jacques Aban line, the 1798 line, is sort of the exclusive line from Jehoban, uh, and it is more expensive. This is about $26 a bottle, uh, is what I've seen it advertised for uh, on a couple of shops, you know, sort of pre-release, uh, and as I said, as this review is being recorded, the ink is uh, going to be released either at the beginning of September 2017, or depending on where you are in the world, I've seen it listed anywhere as late as October. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it, it's not a cheap ink, uh, but it is a special ink. The, 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 the particulates in the ink and some of that sheen, uh, it is, you know, it's not your average run-of-the-mill ink. Now, in terms of an X factor, the shimmer, it's beautiful. Whether you'd use this for everyday writing is up to you. 
it's a, a unique special ink. I love purple inks. Purple inks are my probably among my favorite and among the highest in my collection in terms of number. Um, and I think the, the silver particulates in this ink will really make it stand out among a lot of the others. So I've actually given this ink four and a half stars out of five. The only thing that stops me giving this a higher, uh, a, a complete five is the price. Yes, you are getting a special ink for the price, but it is quite expensive. Uh, you can get a, a bottle of, uh, you know, sort of, to put it into into, comp into comparison, a bottle of um, Robert Oster, which is a similar size bottle, is $17, and this is around the $26 mark. So it is considerably more expensive, uh, and it is, but it is a unique ink. So four and a half stars, I think, is fair. Uh, from my perspective, um, I'd love to hear what you think about the ink, and especially once you've had a chance to to use it, what you think about how it behaves and how it reacts. Um, I really like it, and I think it's certainly one that, to look out for, and I'm 100% sure it is going to cause a bit of a stir on its uh, release, so watch out on places like Instagram to be flooded with uh, pictures of this ink, and rightfully so. So that was Jacques Abin, uh, 1798 Amatis de L'Oreal, uh, and I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Uh, and please uh, drop me a message. You can do that either here uh, on YouTube or at my blog, on Instagram or Twitter, which are all linked down below. Um, I'd love to hear from you if you've got products or information or questions or really anything. Um, so yeah, get in touch. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you later.